Um. Ooh, someone's in trouble. Sideline Mom, and I'm back from my hiatus. It was basically like a two week hiatus from not only the ketogenic diet, but from my collagen peptides. And I'm gonna say that it was a really big mistake. And the, the diet thing, I try to stay within the ketogenic diet limits. The problem was is that once my brain gets overstressed out, I can't think about anything else. So my eating habits just, I don't have any. I mean, I eat only when I'm starving or I eat when I'm super stressed out. And so it was a big, big mess. And that's something that's definitely on myself because I've never actually learned to manage my stress. The um, last few weeks have been really stressful and they are getting a little bit more stressful and so I'm going to try and do my best and I have been starting to track my, um, my food again on my carb tracker as well as I've been trying to drink more fluids. I also, for a sweet treat for myself because honestly, when I'm stressed out, the first thing I go to are sweet drinks. I went ahead and I, we bought a couple of those Mio uh, sugar-free drink or water enhancers. And so far, they've been quite well. I've actually been putting uh, collagen peptides in the last couple of days. And I will say that without my collagen peptides the last few weeks, my joint pain has come back as well as um, there's an issue with my intestinal tract. I don't know exactly what's going on and I have had all the tests done on my <laughs> intestines but they can never find they can't find anything. So um, the pain for that came back and it's just been well one thing on top of another and I know that the one thing I can do is actually watch what I'm eating and so I'm back on the ketogenic diet. I hope to lose at least another five pounds before my birthday comes up because that comes at the end of April and I'm kind of super excited because it's a big one for me. And um, yeah, managing stress. I will be trying to learn how to do that this next month. Um, so April, we'll start off trying to learn to manage stress and I'm going to be learning different tactics because honestly, the coping skills that I have, which is a fallback to just eating like really bad food. And yes, even though a lot of the snacks were ketogenic friendly foods, it's not the point. The point is I was getting off track. And so, I mean, you can't sustain yourself only on chicharrones and um, water enhancers and that's it. Uh, so yes, back on track again for April. And this is the end of March right now. so. I'll be marching out of March with a little bit more, um, I guess, a little bit more guilt for myself, but also an understanding that I need something, something in myself needs to be corrected, and um, maintaining my stress levels is one of them. Uh, the problem with my stress is I usually end up staying up really late at night as well, and I have intense panic attacks all night long, and so it hasn't been fun and my poor husband has been staying up with me the last couple of weeks and you know he's really loving and very understanding and I'm very happy that he's my husband because he's been a wonderful guy and actually I was getting frustrated because there was so much going on in the house like not too long ago like before I did my videos that I had to ask him to take the boys out meaning our son and our dog out for a walk just so I could just get this video out so that's what I'm doing right now so yeah, um, I think the start of the, the downfall for me in March was in February I was doing the fasting thing and that actually was working because I had a scheduled time that I, I actually got to eat and by that time I was just so excited to get whatever I was going to eat that time and being more lax on that and allowing myself to actually eat at an earlier time when I was just hungry. It just kind of like, I don't know, triggered something in me like, oh, well, I haven't had this in a while, I haven't had this in a while, or I, just, I haven't been doing this in a while, or just a bunch of stuff, and I haven't had a wonderful pig out day in a while with my son, which is something that me, we used to do a lot, and we don't do it anymore. And so it just kind of like basically messed me up. And so I'll be going back on fasting 
Um, I'll try again for one o'clock until eight o'clock at night to have my eating hours because it just seemed to work really well for me. And I guess that I just need some sort of, I don't know, strict routine to uh, stay on a diet. But uh, yeah, so all that and literally a bag of chicharrones has been going on. And what else? So I have been using the Intent products, though um, I am thinking about adding in something that my dad brought up to me actually. And what he does is he does the skin brushing. And a few days ago, he posted a picture of himself up. And my dad is, he's, you know, he's like in his, I think in his late 50s, early 60s. I never asked my parents their age. <laughs> my, my mom said it was rude. So, um, yeah, so my dad, it, he looks really good for his age. His skin is really clear. And I'm like, what the heck is he doing? He says he's just been skin brushing. And then, of course, um, just taking care of himself the best he can. And my dad is really knowledgeable with all sorts of things that are health oriented. So I'll be starting the skin brushing regimen starting at the beginning of April. And hopefully by the time my birthday rolls around, my skin will be not as much looking like it does now. So what I've noticed on my skin is the collagen peptides didn't really fill out the fine lines in my skin. Even though it did have a little bit of glow, I still had fine lines. And so it, to me, I'm wondering if it's just like a bunch of dead skin. And even though I use those little loofahs in the shower, the, um, I think they're just like from a loofah sponge. I, you know, do my face in the shower and get like the exfoliating going. Um, my skin still comes out really dry and it looks awful. So I'm hoping using the skin brushing technique that it will actually take off a lot of the dead skin cells and then my skin will start to be radiant and wonderful and actually projecting how I feel on the inside when I'm on the, on the ketogenic diet. Yeah, so yeah, April will be doing some skin brushing. I'll go back on my, my fasting period time for like the hours of eating from one to eight and I will be adding in water enhancers. And the reason I actually added in the water enhancers the collagen peptides, they do have a little bit of an aftertaste, and if you knew how I drink my coffee, it's literally like this. This is like a skinny, tall, blonde iced Americano. And yes, I don't usually drink from here, but that's where I've been going lately, so. I like my Americanos, I like my coffee black, and it's, it would, all the kinds that I've been getting, they all clump up in the coffee. And I have been trying to actually use hot water, but it still tends to clump up. And so I would have these big old gloppy, blobby things in my coffee, and then this like slight aftertaste. I love coffee. It's like one of my favorite things to drink in the world. So the collagen peptide is actually ruining the taste of my coffee. With these meal water enhancers, because I don't really, I wasn't really expecting much from the water enhancers. Um, it completely, for me, it masked the flavor of the, the collagen peptides. And a lot of people say that it doesn't really have an aftertaste, but if you're like me and you really like something and you're putting it in there and you can taste it and also you can feel it in your mouth a little bit, all this greasiness, um, I just, I didn't like it. So I took it and it was great, but in my coffee, I didn't like it, and when I put it in the Mio stuff, I wasn't expecting much, and it was probably the best fix for me, and the Mio's aren't too expensive, and they last a very long time, so yeah. Anyways, I think I'm babbling at this point, but uh, yeah. Oh, spring has rolled around the corner, and I'm so excited because this year, me and my husband are gonna be doing some gardening again, and we always do. And I'll show you guys some pictures of the past of our gardening. Um, we do container gardens right now because we don't own the property we're staying at, we're renting, and so we're not allowed to put any plants in the ground. So it's a little sad and disheartening. Um, but uh, yeah, so I will be showing you guys the beginning of this, this season as well as what we do to amend our soil and what kind of soil we actually use, which is kind of a mix. And lately we have been 
repurposing last year's soil by adding just a few soil amendments like worm castings and fertilizers and just a very few small things because the soil is still wonderful. Um, so if you're into gardening, uh, go ahead and subscribe down below and we can chat about it. I love talking about gardening. It's like one of my favorite topics, gardening and coffee. <laughs>